Every day, in universities across the continent, researchers are focused on discovering new knowledge, ways to make our lives better, including those dealing with difficult life transitions. In this explanatory video, we invite you for a short journey into exciting new discoveries and responses. We will show you resources of pioneering work. These resources demonstrate ways to ethically and compassionately support individuals and families when, for public safety reasons, the time has come to stop driving. The three instructional videos are tailored to meet the specific information needs of primary health care professionals, families experiencing life with dementia, and organizations interested in actively supporting those living with lost driving privileges. Losing a driver's license is intensely emotional for many with dementia. For those who came of age in the post-World War II automobile culture, it cuts to the core of personal identity and family role contribution. It's also an early major marker of successive losses to come on what for most can be a journey of long decline in health status and identity. How we identify, assess, and communicate about medically at risk driving and support those living with the experience has a significant impact for maintaining dignity of individuals and families. I get bored sitting at home and that's why I used to go out driving all the time and I would go different places to admire the city and admire the country and, and that was all I ever did. Now all I can do is walk. He was very angry. He was really upset. The level of upset he was, I had never seen in my father before. Loss of driving privileges often profoundly impacts family members as well. well he was really making it hard for every one of us. I mean, because he was so determined that he was going to drive. You know, I, I really think this, is, this has been the toughest time of my life. And of all of it, the toughest, toughest part was that, that first beginning when we didn't know what to do or how to deal with it. Scholars from various disciplines are working with clients and families during this profound and disruptive life transition. Together they are examining the experience of lost driving privileges in order to help themselves and others continue a dignified life while minimizing public safety risks. In After the Keys Are Gone, gerontologist Dr. Bonnie Dobbs journeys with drivers and their families. Together they explore the impact of lost driving privileges as seen through the eyes of those living daily with the consequences. I'm lucky in that I knew how to drive. In the following interviews, we'll introduce you to several people who have lost their driver's licenses due to ability changes associated with dementia. These interviews provide poignant real world examples of how involuntary driving cessation affects the individuals and their families. The effects are pervasive, less than positive, and often predictable. In After the Keys Are Gone for primary health care professionals, viewers see interviews and commentaries that inform how stop driving directives impact patients and families. The video offers strategies for initiating conversations about the stop driving issue and more. It was very negative. I think a little compassion would help, and a little more explanation. After communicating the stop driving directive, ask how the person is feeling and acknowledge their emotions. Avoid lengthy attempts to convince the person through rational explanations. After the keys are gone, for families experiencing life with dementia, is for those with dementia, their spouses, and other family members. It highlights common issues for families when someone has to stop driving and the role specialized support groups can play. The interviews introduce the impact that lost driving privileges has for the person and family. It normalizes the sense of isolation and frustration many experience. It illustrates coping strategies and supports for moving ahead. Part of that whole process was learning what was going to work and what wasn't mm -hmm. going to work. And, and part of that learning process was going to the driver cessation study group and learning some coping skills for it. After the keys are gone, for organizations interested in supporting those living with lost driving privileges, highlights the profound impact lost driving privileges has on the individual, caregivers, and other family members. It demonstrates the importance of well-designed support groups. 
It shows how beneficial they can be in reducing the burden and stress experienced by both patients and family. The primary goal for the patient group is to help them work through the negative emotions associated with the loss of driving privileges. For the caregivers, the goals are to teach coping skills and to provide them with a venue where they can work through the negative experiences and stressors associated with the loss of license. For him, I think it really was frustration, but there was also a social aspect as well that he enjoyed, being with a group of people who understood how he felt. I attended the uh, driver sensation group and I enjoyed it very, very much. It just made you feel, uh, feel a little bit better about yourself. And boy, I'm telling you, I think it's critical that you get to some sort of support group. After the keys are gone is for the specific information needs of three audiences, primary health care professionals, families experiencing life with dementia, and organizations interested in actively supporting those living with lost driving privileges. The information is presented clearly, factually, and is informed by the reality of people living with life after the keys are gone. Our goal is to maintain the best possible lifestyle for both mom and dad. It takes a community and it really takes every family member pitching in to help out so that dad is able to do what he wants to do because he needs to maintain his independence. We need you to become part of this community. If you work as a clinician with those presenting with symptoms of progressive dementia, or if someone you know has a progressive dementia and you are concerned about safely associating with their driving, After the Keys Are Gone can help inform and guide decisions to be made and supports that can assist. To order these videos, contact us at www.knowwhentostop.info. For physicians and other healthcare workers, patients and their families, and for support groups, we have developed DVD presentations that are dramatic reenactments, also known as sociodramas. These dramatic reenactments follow the patient and doctor relationship, starting with identifying dementia through to dealing with the outcome of the diagnosis. To find out more about these educational materials, please contact us at www.knowwhentostop.info.